Okay, here's a wee video about how to do a rising main in Civil 3D. <coughs> now on the new template, you'll see that we've got uh, sewer, stormwater lines, but we've also got uh, sewer rising mains, stormwater rising mains, and water rising mains. So I'm going to do a little sewer rising main and show you how you can uh, go up a hill and down a hill and just follow the ground and uh, get your pipe in the right place. Let's just quickly first have a look at the rules to do this because the pipe rule set for the pipes is quite important. So if we look, have a look at MWH Rising Main and edit the rules, you can see that for cover and slope, um, we just put maximum and minimum cover in. Now the user should alter these to suit their parameters before they start. Um, but for slopes, maximum slope, you know, we've put that in at 50% and the minimum slope at uh, minus 50%. So that's going to allow the pipe to follow the ground. And the next thing uh, we need to have is a pipe to pipe match. So for so the match location will be invert. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's invert or uh, crown. Um, we put the drop value in a zero so that the pipe will match in any case. All right, let's go to the prospector in, in our sewer rising main. We'll just uh, edit a network. And um, I've already got my surface and my parts list uh, in there, and you can see that we've got an MWH pipe joint uh, object. Let's just say that we want to have, I don't know, a 225 ODPE 80, blah, blah, blah. On my surface, I've turned on the uh, slope arrows. You should all know how to do this now. So my rising main is going to go up this hill and along the top and down the other side, just to show you that we'll get a, a thing that goes up and down and get our pipe to follow. So let's draw pipes and structures. I've been in this drawing before, so it's uh, nothing will be flashed, but it'll show you the concept. So you can see that you can put a change of grade in where, you, where the contour contour widths change. So we might want to do that, or we might want to do that, and that, and that. Okay, now we just establish uh, our long section. So pipes, utilities, create alignment for network parts. This is the methodology I always use. And we'll just go OK on that. Add that, create my profile view. It's all set up for pipes in this template. So you just go next, next, straight away. Take two metres off that m that level. Uh, next, next, next. Now because this is a sewer rising main and it seems to always follow an order, it's a complete pain in the bum. And um, Really, if I've picked, um, if I'm doing this and I've picked uh, entities off a data source that is a sewer rising main, why on earth does that not get populated? Beats me. Anyway, here we go. Bingo. You've got yourself a rising main. And uh, in the new template, we've got our, uh, we've got a lovely. Um, way of displaying the, the titles and, uh, and what have you and um, you'll see the same levels on the invert of the pipeline at start and finish but it's okay um, it may be that we want to uh, actually take one of those levels off for the purposes of rising mains and have a uh, separate uh, uh, profile view uh, band set for rising mains so we don't double up on that level uh, but anyway, that's pretty quick, so I uh, hope that helps.